It's been eight months since we last looked at Plants vs Zombies Dimensional Destruction, a fan-made PVZ game developed by Slime Wesley 2, taking the form of the good old-fashioned five-lane tower defense Plants vs Zombies we know, but changing things up in some really unique ways. Incorporating elements from PVZ 1, 2 and 3, as well as their own ideas, the game guarantees to scratch that PVZ itch I'm sure we all have during this Plants vs Zombies drought. In the previous update video we discussed a number of new characters, worlds and a complete remaster of the original levels as well as new mechanics we can expect to see. But this time, as well as taking a look at a bunch of new plants, zombies and other content, we also have an exclusive interview with the developer himself who kindly took the time to answer some questions I had about the game. The current version of PVZ Dimensional Destruction is available to play right now for free on Game Jolt, link is in the description. As far as PVZ fan games go, this is definitely one of the best ones out there so I would 100% recommend giving it a go. Right then, so let's start off with a bunch of new plants and zombies. First up is the excavator zombie, which I have to say looks awesome. He gets this really cute little dumper truck and a really interesting mechanic. So this guy can not only dig up your plants, but in doing so, he is going to leave a temporary crater in his wake. As some of you may have recognised, this will work in the same way as craters do when you use a doom shroom in PvZ1. This means for a time you will be unable to plant in a square where a crater is present, but it will eventually disappear. This makes the excavator zombie a very dangerous foe if not dealt with quickly. The only upside is that he is very slow but does have 45 HP making him pretty tanky. Next up we have a new plant called Cranes Bee. Based on the real life Cranes Billflower, this is a supporting plant that can be used to buff other plants on the lawn. It works very much like a banana launcher in the sense you have to press on it and drag the crosshair to one of your other plants. Once you do this, Cranes Bee will send a swarm of friendly bumblebees to pollinate the selected plant and doing so it gives them benefits. A lot of the benefits are related to speed, so for example if you used it on a sunflower, the sunflower would produce sun faster for a certain amount of time. However, the one thing to note is that it won't work on mushrooms. This makes sense as fungi doesn't reproduce with or use pollination. Crane's bee costs 175 sun to plant, has a fast recharge rate and has a small cooldown between each pollination use. The final new character is the Spear Vaulting Zombie, a much beefier version of the Pole Vaulting Zombie. As well as having more health, the Spear Vaulter can jump over two squares instead of just one. While simpler than the other new characters, being able to jump multiple squares will certainly require players to change up their strategies. The good old double walnut trick won't work on these guys. I guess the best thing to do, as with the regular Pole Vaulters, is to just make them use up their Spear as soon as possible. As well as these three new characters, a couple of existing zombies have had their sprites updated. This includes Newspaper Zombie and Gargantuan. I think I mentioned this last time, but there's something just really interesting about seeing these screenshots. It gives you an understanding of just how much work goes into a single character. Now we're going to move on to visuals and graphics. The biggest and most important on the list is the complete overhaul of the original day and night worlds. The artwork has been kept the same style as the rest of the game, but everything just looks fresher with improved line work, colour and depth. As well as the day and night overhauls, we have two additional pieces that include an evening front yard and the backyard. I think the pool is probably my favourite of the lot, especially because of the tiles that are half sand, half grass. I think little details like that are always great to see. In terms of character improvements, Boxhead Zombie has received a retexture, Timato has been redesigned and minions have been created for the Captain Cone boss fight. Speaking of which, each boss level will now have a unique set of zombies to battle, making the levels even more memorable. Other graphics that have been reworked include the A Huge Wave of Zombies is Approaching and the Final Wave text. Again, it looks clearer and higher quality. Finally, the Zombies Ate Your Brain's death screen has been improved. When you fail a level, it'll show you which specific zombie munched on your brains and it even gives you some flavour text to go with it just to add insult to injury. Finally, before we move on to the exclusive interview, we have a couple of animations that have been created or reworked. First, we have some tweaks to the original zombie animations. Both the breathing and walking animations have been improved, making them feel more natural and slick. Second, the newspaper zombies animation has been completed. I absolutely love how he throws and smashes his glasses on the floor. So that's about it in terms of actual content to show you, but we're going to move on to the interview section. Thanks again to Slime Wesley 2 for agreeing to the interview. We discussed the origins of the game, new worlds, potential release dates, and more. I hope you enjoyed.
Well, I played Plants vs Zombies 2 and I and recently the leveling system was added and I was like, Ugh, no, no, just no. I, I despised it. So I decided like when modern day came, I was like, oh yeah, I want to make my own PC fan game. It would be fun. I really like the game. So yeah. Well, the first the, the zomb the first new zombie that I'm really proud of is actually a hard mode zombie that you will encounter in one of the newer levels, Spear Volter Zombie. Because Spear Volter Zombie jumps two lanes instead of one, like the normal normal variant. He's also tougher, so the double the health. Taimado, because I mean, for really fast zombies, he's really useful and uh, for time levels. And also, a new plant that I came up with is called Encrens Bee. You will unlock her, uh, her in the uh, in one of the special levels. She can actually pollinate uh, plants to make them faster, actually. So bees uh, surround that one plant and they become faster, for example, because. Like some flowers, like some flowers produce more sun uh, when the bees uh, are in her place, for example. Well, I can say the uh, release date is probably not gonna happen. This maybe not this year. Maybe, may I don't know for sure. Depending how lazy I am, <laughs> pretty much. But I can say maybe after the remastered version of Front Yard Day and Night comes out maybe that, that's just a speculation maybe just saying maybe after day well on the animator part i am actually back doing the animation again because the charm because i want the charm still there because knowing myself i actually really like to do animations and uh, it's really funny to make them there's a, a friend of mine called flip the fan doing the music and uh, I see and there's also a friend called I see that does the music as well some other pe uh, people just helping me with the game just hopefully that it doesn't uh, become an unbal unbalanced mess uh, well yes I do have I uh, have a discord server you can I don't know if you're gonna put in the in the description but for the people that are watching this video just check the description. Well, you either can go to my channel, for example, or go to the Discord server, or on Game Jolt to see uh, more dev, uh, probably devlogs, but don't expect a lot there, because I don't post a lot there. <laughs> but if you want, you can follow it. No, I'm not pushing it. Just saying. <laughs> Oh, I do want to add maybe the uh, the next uh, fourth world. I won't spoil it, but I could say some one thing. It's going to be like an, a cybernetic adventure, I would say. Anyway, guys, that's about it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on PVZ Dimensional Destruction in the comments below. But other than that, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, turn on notifications, and if you want to support the channel further, check out my Patreon page by clicking on screen now or through the link in the description. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.